The local students are benefiting from the experiences of the first man to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong died Saturday at age 82. And 9 News reporter Tom McKee is live with how UC's current group of engineers to be is building upon Armstrong's legacy. Tom? Well, Carol, that is certainly true, and there's no doubt that the aerospace engineering major here at Baldwin Hall is extremely challenging. Just take a look at some of these coursework, courses right now that are listed in that major. Viscous flow, rocket propulsion, heat treatment, spacecraft design. That last one was created by Armstrong when he taught here in the 1970s, and it's his love of science and math that continues to inspire students even today. Jake Hazeman is entering his final year of aerospace engineering studies at UC before earning his degree. He's had to keep his nose in his books a lot more than many other students. From what I can tell from other majors, it's definitely one of the harder ones. It's a very rigorous cur curriculum, a lot of math, a lot of science, a lot of homework. When he first came to UC, Hazeman didn't know that the first man to walk on the moon had been a professor there. Now he knows how lucky he is to be in a program partly built by such an icon. It definitely gives you a sense of of reverence and a little bit of pride to be in such a, a nice university that had such a, a very outstanding professor teaching here. Graduate student Krista Kervik says she loves the surprised look on people's faces when she tells them Armstrong taught at the second oldest aerospace program in the U.S. and did it quietly and humbly. He probably did his job and he wanted to be known not necessarily for who he was but what he accomplished. That humility was something that stood out to Awatef Hamad. She now heads the aerospace engineering program, but was a teaching colleague of Armstrong's during the decade he was at UC. We would go and walk, and people don't necessarily turn around and look. He was just uh, very uh, quiet and very easygoing and didn't try to stand out. And boy, could he teach, she said. Students loved his classes. He's known all over the world. He's an icon for humanity. But as a human being, he was the best and, uh, and the humblest. Of course, Armstrong earned his pilot's license at age 15 before he could even drive. His first solo flight was from his hometown of Wapakoneta, Ohio, to Lunkin Airport right here in Cincinnati. When he went to apply to Purdue University for college, he didn't drive. He flew there. The family is planning a very private funeral service this Friday. A more public ceremony of his life may be coming at some point in the future. Tom McKee, 9 News, live on the University of Cincinnati Uptown Campus.